In this short video tutorial, we will understand the concept of nested loops in the C programming language. Now, when you write loops using for, while or do while, so you want to execute the code for let's say a given number of times. But there are situations in which you might want to create a loop inside a loop or maybe a loop inside another loop and then one more loop inside that loop. So when we create a loop inside a loop, so that is what we call as the nested loop. So let's see an example of the nested loop. So in this small program, I've created an integer variable a and I have written the for loop by giving the initial value of a uh, as zero, then giving a condition a less than 10 and then incrementing the value of a by one at every step. Now this is a single loop. So it will run for let's say, uh, say 10 times from zero, from a equal to zero till a equal to nine. Now if I copy this loop and uh, I paste it inside uh, this loop. So now I have a loop inside another loop. Let me take a different variable for the inner loop. So I'll take a different variable for the inner loop. So now what we have done is we have created a loop inside a loop. So this is the outer loop over here and this is the inner loop. So this inner loop is what we call as the nested loop. So it's called the nested loop because it is it has been created inside another loop. So we are not as of now discussing the logic behind why or what this the inner loop and outer loop will do. The only aim of this tutorial is to help you understand that you can create one loop inside the other loop and the inner loop is what we call as the nested loop. Now, if you have to guess for how many times will this code run? So you can easily make a guess the outer loop will run 10 times and the inner loop will also run 10 times. So when the value of let's say a is zero, the inner loop will run for 10 times. When the value of a will become one, then the inner loop will again run for 10 times. When it will become two, the inner loop will again run for 10 times. So this complete code, both these loops will actually run 10 into 10 times. So this code will actually run for 100 times. So whenever you create a loop inside a loop, always remember that that complete logic will run for uh, will run for this many uh, number of times. You can multiply the, the number of times the outer loop runs with the number of times the inner loop uh, that runs. So this is how you can create a nested for loop in the C programming language. Now in the similar manner, we can also create a while loop inside the, you can also create a while loop inside the for loop. So this, this loop, this while loop will be called a nested loop because it has been created inside the for loop. So you can create a while loop inside the for loop or you can create a while loop inside another while loop or you can create a for loop inside a while loop. You can create any combination you want, but you have to make sure that whatever logic you are trying to implement, the nested loops are actually working in accordance with that logic. So over here, we are not talking about any logic. The only goal of this tutorial was to help you understand that you can create nested loops and nested loops are created by by creating one loop inside the body of another loop. So with this, I hope you have understood the concept of nested loops in C. So with this, we will end this short tutorial here. To access our complete C programming course, please visit openeschool.com slash learn C. Also, please subscribe to our channel to get regular updates on the new videos that we post.